Hey Warriors, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we have the wonderful opportunity to do a makeover on this chest of drawers. It's made by the Sumter Cabinet Company from Sumter, South Carolina. And we're guessing this was probably made sometime around the 1950s. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this drawer and this drawer. Because I feel it would look better with this drawer here than down here. I think it makes better sense to have the split further up. if a piece of hardware is brass or if it's just metal is you get a magnet this is cute little golf golf clubs um, and if it sticks it's not brass it's just metal so we are definitely going to be painting these Now that the hardware is off and we've rearranged the drawers, um, I'm going to go ahead and clean it. Today I'm using Dawn dish soap. This whole piece has been washed and rinsed. What I'm going to do at this point is take out the drawers. drawers out now. Doing it this way I think it's just easier than having drawers scattered all over the place. Um, and then of course we're going to clean the inside of the drawers, which I probably won't do on video, and the inside of the cabinet. So every inch of this place gets, this piece gets um, scrubbed. Okay, I'm going to sand the top of this piece down to bare wood because this is not um, a veneer. This is a, a solid piece of wood. So I'm going to start with the 80, and after the 80, I'm going to move to 120. And then to smooth it out real smooth, we're going to do a 240. 
no pressure, move slowly. Twenty sandpaper. We're just going to go slow and no pressure. I wish you guys could feel this. It's incredibly smooth. Okay, so now we're gonna 240 the top. And then this thing, I wish you guys could feel it. It's just gonna feel so smooth. Oh, that's smooth. That is so nice. Right about here, there were all kinds of scratches and um, there was some sort of like, maybe a glop of clear nail polish or something that was on top. I couldn't get off when I scrubbed, so. That's all off. All the scratches in it are gone. I'm gonna take to hand sanding the rest of this finish off and smoothen these little sides out, but I'm gonna do it by hand. So we'll start that, I'll find my stuff. So I'm going to do that to the rest of the trim around the dresser, and we'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and do a scuff sand on all the places that are going to be painted. So this is going to be stained. Everything below this point is going to be painted. So I'm just doing a quick scuff sand with the rethunk junk. You really don't have to scuff sand. It's for your own home and your own purposes but our furniture gets shipped out, it gets put into trunks and um, back of trucks and we want to make sure that when it gets to the people's house that it's in the same condition. So this is just for us extra insurance that it is going to stick and be good. Um, with scuff sanding, you don't want to break through the finish. You just want to break through the like the top coat that's on there, but not the actual finish that's on the piece. So this actually does go quite quickly. So I'm gonna turn my drill up or my my drill. <laughs> um, crack myself up. Okay, we're gonna turn this sander up. We got the 120 on here, and we're just gonna we're gonna go for it. Still have to wear a mask and the eye protection.
since we're going to stain the top of this, this is all in the end grain, and you can see um, when we stain this, some of these parts are going to get really dark because it's end grain. So we're going to put um, General Finishes pre-stain conditioner um, on this, just on the sides of this, so that hopefully it'll be the same color as the top. We're not going to do the top. I'm just going to do the sides with this pre-stain conditioner. I'm going to go ahead and tape off because I don't want it on the top. stain the top and we're going to stain the top three drawers. So we're going to use the Minwax Wood Finish Penetrating Stain in the color Dark Walnut. And a foam, foam pad. Before you stain, you want to dust your drawers. Collect all of your supplies. So, hence the name stain, I'm going to put gloves on. You want a rag to wipe the stain off, a key to open the can, a foam roller, and of course your stain, and then or foam brush from foam brush and then so I want to go all the way across Okay, we got this edge right here that we have to repair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a, seen Jim do this before. I'm just gonna grab some parchment paper So we're going to put our bondo in our corner, so we're going to mix that up, put the bondo on a board. And 
mix it until it's all one color, but you gotta kinda gotta work fast because this stuff dries really quickly. Now we're going to put um, the prep from Refunk Junk by Laura on the finishes that are going to be painted.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do our second coat. And I'm gonna answer your question because I know a lot of you are going to ask, why did we spray the first coat and we're brushing and rolling the second coat? And there's a very good answer for it because it's a gorgeous day and I really feel like painting today instead of spraying. Other than that, there's no <laughs> good explanation. I just feel like doing some brushing and rolling today. So that's the answer to your question. Okay, so we put two coats of the satin lacquer on. Now that that's dry, we're just gonna go over this real easy with some steel wool, just to smooth it out. And then we'll put our third and final coat of the lacquer on. This just gives it a really velvety, smooth surface. Takes all the little dust particles and stuff out. You do wanna make sure to dust this off really well after you do this. You don't want any of the steel wool particles getting locked into your lacquer. Okay, so we're putting on the hardware and you know what that means, we're just about done. So we're gonna bring this in and stage it. And it was a lot of fun working on a piece that was actually solid wood instead of veneer for once. It's kind of fun being able to sand and do what you need to do without worrying about running through veneer. In any case, we'll show you a few pictures of what we started with and then we'll show you the final reveal. And there you go. Cindy and I love the way this piece came out. It's traditional, a little bit of a surprise when you open the drawers. We really just love the way this thing looks. So anyway, let us know what you think in the comments. And as always, have a flippin' awesome day.